everyone so I am here with a card process video and it feels like it's been forever since I did a process video but I'm actually doing this for Jamie's birthday challenge um, Jamie is the owner of the not too shabby shop and this is her birthday month and so she has a challenge and a giveaway going on the giveaway you just have to buy something from her store I think using her birthday code and then the challenge is to make one of several kinds of cards there are several options but I'm just going to link her video in the description below if you want to check it out and she explains all the details. So, um, I'm using this Stamping Bella image. It is retired. The illustrator was Mo Manning. And I got on um, Mo's digital website, um, but I didn't see it there either. So, I'm not sure if it's completely retired or if I just over was overlooking it on that website. But one of the options of a card to make was a beach scene. And that is the one I chose because in the not too distant future, we are taking our children to a road trip and we're going to the beach. And we're also going to be going to Legoland. Um, but they do not know this. Um, last year, we made the mistake of telling them we were going to Disney and they asked us consistently every day multiple times a day when we were leaving so this year they know we're going on a trip but we are keeping the destination a surprise until we get there but i am already in beach mood like i am ready to get away for a few days and i'm so excited to go and spend time with my family and make some memories with them now um when i was editing this video i noticed that i missed one of the little polka dots um on her bum but i did go back and color that in and um but I didn't notice it until after I had already filmed and taken pictures and everything. So even in the pictures after the video, it's still uncolored. But I did go back and add that little bit of orange because that was bothering me. As soon as I noticed it, I had to go fix it. And as for the coloring, I didn't do a lot of shading. I just used a variety of different types of markers and I just put the color down. I just kind of zoned out and just had fun and didn't worry about shading and lighting and all that. Now here I am using the MFT Cloud Stencil. And I'm also using my new brushes that I got off of Amazon. I did jump on the bandwagon and buy some of the makeup brushes to try with blending. I think I gave $8.99 for this particular set. Um, I don't know the the name or the brand. Um, it doesn't have the name on the handle. It was the cheaper of the even cheap set. And like most people, I am really liking them. Um, I did notice at first they were a little hard to blend with, but the more I use them and the more ink builds up on them and the more seasoned I guess they get, um, the more I just, I'm reaching for them all the time. I don't even reach for my sponges or blender anymore. So this is the Mama Elephant Wave Trio Dye. And I'm just using some Stampin' Up! Dapper Denim and one of the smaller brushes to just add a little bit more color, a little bit more shading and depth to the ocean waves. And then I'm going to use the one of the Lawn Fawn Stitched Border Dies and cut out the sand. 
and then I'm just going to add this little sprinkle stamp from Stampin' Up to add just some little spots and give it more of a sandy-like appearance. And off camera, I took that little brush again and added a little bit more shading. And I went ahead and arranged the waves and stuff how I wanted to them to be um, off camera because I knew that might take me a few minutes and this right here is why I prefer wet glue over dry adhesive because I can never get things straight the first go around so it took me a few minutes of fiddling with this before I finally got it straight and then that top wave wanted kept wanting to pop up so I had to add some more glue to the back of it and to keep it laid down and that sun um that's just an image a pre-colored image i had in my little container of um images that i color because i like to color a lot even if i don't have a project in mind so i'll color them and cut them out and then just put them in a little container and as i find use for them I'll use them that way and then those birds are from a current Stampin' Up set um I can't remember the name it's one of the lighthouse sets but it is in the current catalog um but I use those birds all the time they are probably one of my more used stamps. Um, I really use anything else out of that stamp set, but I do use those birds a lot. And then I'm just popping up my little bikini girl here and the sun with some foam tape that I got on clearance at the dollar store. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add some sequins and these little golden seashells that I got at the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. And I made a mistake here. I should have glued my panel down first and then added the sequins. But, and I know that, but I forgot, um... I just grabbed them and was like, oh, I think these would look really cute and just went to gluing away. And then afterwards, I realized that I had made a mistake because it was hard to get my panel mashed down there at the bottom because I didn't want to mess up my sequins. So I couldn't put a lot of pressure on that area where those were but anyway um that is my card there's going to be a picture at the end of the video i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to y'all later bye